Good evening and welcome to a new week of us sharing this time together in prayer. Um, we are doing Compline out of the Book of Common Prayer. It's on page 127. I'm so thankful to have Jane here with us. Good evening, Jane. We'll take a moment to breathe and then we will begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Take a moment just to breathe nice and easy and release the stress of the day. Take deep breaths, loosen your neck. We are at the beginning of the week. One day in, but there's many days to go, and we may be all feeling anxious about what has happened or what we expect to happen. But this is a time to rest, to know that God is in the midst of everything, that God is with us, and for us to turn and trust to God. So, as it says in Matthew 6, do not be anxious. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Whatever happens, all we have to do is turn to God. Take a moment to breathe. Amen. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. This moment of prayer and intercessory prayer, we invite you to lift up those people and things that are on your hearts and minds. We begin by praying for all those on our parish prayer list. Especially do I uphold Judy, who's in the hospital. We trust that God knows the needs of each person that we are at prayer for, and we trust in God's compassion and mercy, that God will use us as our abilities allow to bring comfort and, and to care for and love those who are afflicted. We pray for the hungry and the unhoused, We pray for those who are living in precarious situations, either physically, emotionally, financially, or spiritually. For the unemployed and the underemployed. For those who struggle with their mental health, those who are living with addiction, those who have lost their sense or have not felt a sense of purpose in their life. We pray for the world, for an ending of violence everywhere that the dignity of every human being is recognized. An end of war in Ukraine and Middle East and Sudan. We pray for leaders that they may seek to bring peace rather than seek to gain power. We pray for all those who are vulnerable in violent places around the world for refugees, children, disabled, elderly. And we pray for the aid agencies that are bringing food and water, medical care, shelter. We pray for an end of gun violence in our streets, an end of the opioid epidemic, end of racism and discrimination. And we pray that our hearts are turned to not contribute to these problems of our society. We pray for Abington, Jenkintown, Cheltenham, Wincote, and Glenside, for our leaders and our first responders. We pray for the church, the church around the world that as those called to be the hands and feet of Christ, we may be loving people, caring for people, 
welcoming people, being a light in the darkness, bringing joy along with us because of the good news of Jesus Christ. We pray for our parish all hallows, for all our many ministries, for its people who work so hard. We remember all who have died that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom, especially for Jennifer, for Helen, for Anne, and all the saints of all hallows. And we do give thanks. We give thanks for the day that has been, the things we were able to do today, the prospects of a night of refreshment and rest. We give thanks for the seasonable weather. We give thanks for birthdays and anniversaries, and the rhythm of life, for joy that was experienced, smiles shared, and a connection with others. Give thanks for the people of All Hallows. And give thanks for Jane and her many ministries. And we give thanks for the vestry who meets tomorrow evening for their work. For all the blessings that we have experienced this day, those that we've seen, those that we have not noticed, but we give praise to God for being in the midst of us and our lives. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. And hallelujah. What the heck? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> It's always fun to say hallelujah and praise God. Thank you for joining us tonight. It is a privilege to spend a few minutes with you. Thank you, Jane, for helping to lead this evening. My pleasure. We will be back again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, tomorrow night is our vestry meeting, and Wednesday is our Bible study. It starts at 1030 and goes till about noon. It's available also via Zoom at the same time. You can participate in person or online. We do it together. We'll follow that by Eucharist in the church at noon. Sunday, our service is at 10 o'clock, and all are welcome at All Hallows always. We hope that you have a wonderful night. Be at peace. Pray for peace.